So South Africa's Space Weather Center is getting a multi-million rand upgrade and will be turned into a 24-hour state-of-the-art facility. It's based on the South African National Space Agency's premises in Hermanus in the Western Cape. It's the first of its kind on the continent. Our reporter Aisha Ismail went over for a visit. Space weather isn't your ordinary weather report. Simply put, it's the weather in space, the space between the sun and the earth. It can impact many things, including mobile and satellite communication, as well as the GPS in your car. Space weather also affects aviation navigation when taking off and landing an aircraft. Space weather is a global challenge and effort. And in South Africa, we are positioning ourselves very well to be part of the solution uh, of that challenge. The 90 million rand upgrade is expected to be completed and functioning by next November. Space weather isn't something that can be changed or modified. It needs to be understood. And this is exactly what these PhD graduates are doing, furthering their studies at the Space Weather Center. I, while I did my BSc, I just majored in physics and chemistry and mathematics, and then I went and then studied astronomy at UCT. One of the many aims of the Regional Space Weather Center is to attract and train young aspiring scientists to be able to compete globally. Aisha Ismail, Hermanus.